All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We put a great one together for you with all of our beautiful co-hosts. We're going all over America's finest city, from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're gonna dive into the real estate market here as well. Let's go ahead and get another episode of Lifestyles started right now. in the beautiful village of Alevenhain. We're gonna go on a special journey that only Mr. Sean Cadell himself could take us on. Hey Sean, great to see you. Hey Tani, happy new year. Happy new year. So Prince of Cardiff, but king of luxury, where have you brought us today? Well today I brought you to Alevenhain in horse country and I have this beautiful new 5,000 square foot estate that I can't wait to share with you. Oh my gosh, you know how much I love horses. I have the most amazing day plan for you. Come on. Let's go. Sean, this house is amazing. I mean, from walking through that insane doorway, it's like walking through to another world. So tell me a little bit about this house. Well, this house was built in 2015. There's five bedrooms, there's an office, there's space for a gym. But the amazing thing is it has this gourmet kitchen, Sub-Zero, Wolf Ranges. It has like beautiful French oak flooring, fireplaces, even outdoors as well. The master bathroom's like a spa. I'll take you up there after. Spa, it's my favorite place. Yeah, <laughs> so there's, a, there's an orchard. There's, I mean, it has vista, like the views all the way out, like forever, for miles. So it's a really special place. And it seems like nothing was, I mean, the finishings are just amazing. Like they're super high-end contemporary finishes. Um, the, it's all the current colors with the, the beautiful grays and whites. And so they put a lot of thought into making this house super like clean line, contemporary, like what's happening now in architecture and design. And it's very open too. I mean, like the big doorway makes it feel open. There's spaces where you can you can open a whole wall pretty much. What's, what's make it really special is it's almost like a big loft on the first floor and then all the private spaces upstairs. So it's all the living spaces are combined and then everybody has their own individual area. And then you're surrounded by this gorgeous area outside, which is Alevenhain. Is that, it did is. I say that right? So tell me a little bit about Alevenhain. What's your favorite well, part? Alevenhain, what I love about it is there's um, estate sized lots. Most of the houses are custom built. And then we're surrounded by uh, equestrian and walking trails. There's three really great barns here that I love. Like for example, Dove Hollow down the street. It has a covered arena, 50 stalls. So a lot of the people that live here in the community can actually walk or ride their horse like right to a farm. There's another one called Wildflower, which actually my partner Gunter is starting to train at. And there's hunter jumpers there, there's dressage there. But then one of my very, very favorites is down the street and it's 13 acres right through this valley and it's beautiful, so. Well, Sean, you know how much I love horses. I was blessed to grow up with them and riding them and I am just so excited to even be in Alevenhain right now. We are definitely in the right area, but there's so much more I wanna show you here first. I wanna take you to the outside area. Yeah, let's go check it out. This is gorgeous. This is like an adventure in itself. It is. I mean, did you see that outdoor kitchen right down there? We yeah. have a fire pit behind us. We have an orchard. An orchard has a million fruit trees. And then outside that gate, there's uh, riding trails, walking trails. There's nature all out there. Like hawks landed here the other day. So oh, it's pretty that's amazing. So wonderful. And I see that upstairs there's a beautiful balcony. So you can probably see the whole orchard and the trails from you the balcony. You can see for miles from that balcony. Like, wow. You can see all the way out, like, probably like to Escondido from there. And that's incredible. And the fireplace, it just seems like such a great home for entertaining. It, it completely is. That's I've been definitely to some, your style. <laughs> well, I've been to some amazing parties here, some amazing fundraisers. So it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So you have a surprise for me. I love surprises. I do. Do you have your boots? My boots? Yes, I boots always have walking, my boots. Right? Okay, great. Because I have a really, really good surprise for you. Okay. I trust you. Grab your carrots. Okay. <laughs> I 
I cannot thank you enough for your incredible surprise. I sincerely, horses are, hold the happiest place in my heart. So thank you so much for bringing here. But how did you have access to this ranch? Well, I sold this a couple of years ago to clients of mine and my friends, Dave and Rebecca Blake, they, they're the training business here and it's a dressage training barn. So th there's like 30 stalls here. They practice dressage here every day. And dressage is a very exclusive sport that not a lot of people know about. So how did you come to find dressage? Well, 25 years ago, almost, I met uh, Gunter and he's been my partner ever since. And I got to travel to like World Cups, three Olympics. So my whole life has revolved around dressage people, the sport, horse shows, things like that. So incredible. So I know um, you have a few events coming up within the horse world. We do, a friend of mine, Scott Hayes, mm -hmm. he created like a whole series, Adequan is sponsoring it. And it's, it's great because usually for the competitions in the United States, they'd have to travel to Florida. And this year, for example, there's four of the top level, which is called CDI shows here in San Diego. There's two more coming up. One is the first weekend in February and the second one is the third weekend in February. And then we have the Del Mar National Horse Show, which is always in April. So it's quite a great year because a lot of the competitors got to stay here in town instead of traveling. And of course, you're going to be there. I'm going to be there for sure. <laughs> So one great thing about the way Scott put the shows together, he created a VIP lounge. There's actually lounges for the husbands. There's a concierge, so when their wives ride, a concierge will come get them and say, like, your wife is riding. Like, they can watch golf or football oh my gosh, in this lounge, amazing. but then they'll be taken, so they're not, like, they're not going to miss their, their yes. partner's ride. True man of luxury, right? So it you is. know your luxury. And you said VIP, so am I invited to the VIP? You are. In fact, I'm sponsoring it's called the Prince of Cardiff Champagne Bar. Of course. <laughs> and every Saturday night when they have the Grand Prix of freestyles, um, all the people in the VIP lounge have champagne on me. Oh my gosh. Well, I get to be your um, honorary You will guest, be my date. Right? You will be my date for sure. I would be. It looks like you have a friend who wants to be a VIP as well. Oh my gosh, well. look at that. Who's this? This is Faria. Faria. And that's Stephen and Rebecca's horse that on the farm. Hi, Faria. I think she's your uh, best friend when she sees carrots. <laughs> Hi. So what's your favorite thing about just being here on this ranch in general? Well, you know what? I love this farm because it's 13 acres and most of the horse farms around here are probably anywhere from three to five acres. Mm -hmm. And this one's special. It's, it's really long. It goes along the river valley. It's surrounded by beautiful estate homes. For example, the house I took, took you to, the contemporary house, yeah. that's just down the street from here. So I love it because horse people love animals. They're kind. Yes. Um, it's nice to be out with nature. Mm -hmm. Bird, like birds fly through here, deer come down this little canyon right here. Oh my gosh. And this goes all the way out to the ocean, so it's it's beautiful. So, I mean, and this is part of Elevenhain. We literally just walked here from and, your listing. And the, the beach is just down, basically just a couple miles west. So it's pretty amazing that you have the beach, you have downtown Encinitas, and then you have all this like open space, and you have this beautiful like nature preserve right here. That's so beautiful. I cannot thank you enough, Sean. I think we just made a row of best friends. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> They weren't all out here and they saw carrots and now they all want some. So thank you so much for bringing me to my new favorite place. You're I can't welcome. thank you enough. Say hi to and Faria. thank you Faria for having us. Huh. Thank you. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. I'm here in East County today with the number one brokers for realty executives not to mention here in East County, number one, Lyle and Grace. They're gonna introduce me to this organic eatery. And I also hear they have a big surprise waiting for us. Lyle, Grace, 
Grace. Thank you for bringing me here today. I'm really excited to hear a little more about this hot spot and one of your favorite places to eat. Tell me all about oh it. Oh my gosh, Lily, we are at Crafted Greens. This place just opened a couple months ago and it is blowing up our market out here. Everybody's going crazy for this food here at Crafted Greens. It's an organic eatery that has some of the best food I have ever eaten. And I'm definitely someone that likes to eat. <laughs> well, I can tell people are going crazy. We've been here for just a little bit and it seems like people keep coming in and out. You guys are telling me about this delicious food. What's your favorite thing to eat here? Tell me, Lyle. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah. This chimchurri steak sandwich, I have to tell you, first yeah. of all, was off the hook, just amazing. I mean, when I come here to eat, and I mean, I like to really check out food places, everything on the menu here, I mean it. And down gonna, to the lettuce. I'm, down to the lettuce is absolutely perfect. I mean, it's clean, it's quality, and it crunches in your mouth. And it's got flavor like you've never had. And I never thought organic food would do that to me. My wife actually brought me out here and says, you got to try this organic food. You're a little skeptic, but I was, I was a skeptic. <laughs> he has to get his good food in. i got to get my good food uh -huh. in. And believe me, I'm a foodie. Uh -huh. This place will knock your socks off. Take and the it portions. From me. And the portions. My gosh, wait till you see these salads. Yeah. These salads are huge. And they're so beautiful, and they taste amazing. I mean, it's, believe me, we walk the walk, Grace and I do. Uh -huh. We know what good quality food is, and we know what good quality people are like. And they have it on display. They're not hiding anything. You can see it being made right, right in front of you. Yep, they do a lot of the stuff right here naturally. I mean, they do everything here from their potato chips. They make their own potato chips here. I mean, their meat, when you see their meat, how clean it is. I mean, everything about it, they do a certain way. And it gives that thanks, really, to the ownership here. Yes. But he's talking a lot about the meat. I want to talk about the veggies. Yes, <laughs> tell us. You know, the Brussels sprouts uh -huh. are to die for. They're my favorite, absolute favorite, with chicken, a side of chicken hummus. They're fresh veggies. Um, everything that on the healthy side, uh -huh. other than the meats, is super Well, come good. on. Yeah. The meat is as healthy as it can get. I it know. is organic, right? Are That's what you told me to get me here. Uh, you know what? Speaking of that, I know you're so excited. You have a very big announcement. Oh, yeah. Tell us all about it. I know this is huge. Yes. I don't think we've ever had this. I personally, as a host, haven't seen this, so tell everyone about it. Well, you know, Lily, we get the opportunity of being able to eat some great food and supporting wonderful families. This is a family-owned business here at Crafted Greens, and I have to tell you, I love it when I walk into a place and somebody can say, hi, Lyle or high grace. I mean, what it place do you get that? It steps it up a level. It steps it up a level. It's, it's not, nowhere's personal anymore. And they're very personal, wonderful people. And I'm not just telling everybody out there that, you know, everything that I eat is always the greatest. It really has to stand up to this foodie, I can tell you that. If it isn't good, you're not gonna hear about it. Uh -huh. if, it's, if it's good, you're gonna hear about it at the top of my lungs, and that's what I'm here to tell you all about today. Multiplied, oh, tell well. us. Well, times how many? <laughs> 50 people. We are so confident that people are going to love this business, or organic crafted greens, that we're going to pay for your dinner. 50 people. The first 50 people that go to lyleandgrace.com and fill out the questionnaire, Grace and I are going to pay for your dinner. We are so committed and so into our community and so into this wonderful family that opened up such a great little restaurant that you're going to like. I want to see what you guys think of what the food's really like. The first 50 people you're invited to come here on Lyle and Grace. But make sure, again, go to lyleandgrace.com yes. and fill it out or you won't be eating for free. But it's sure <laughs> worth coming here without me paying for it, too. <laughs> That's right, Lyle and Grace. You know what? I'm so excited. That's a beautiful gesture that you're doing. And honestly, I don't think you have to, but it'll get the people in here to try something new. Like you said, if you're a little skeptical, don't have to worry. You guys have it covered for the rest yep. of the times they come. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is really it, you guys. This is the real deal. Thank you, Lyle and Grace. It's so beautiful to come here. And honestly, it's an amazing place. I'm really excited to get to know a little more about it. Oh, boy. You do. You need to meet the ownership of this place, yeah. Ferris. This family and Ferris are just absolutely wonderful people. And they give us such great food. I'm so honored to be able to introduce you to Ferris. Hopefully, he shows some secrets behind this amazing menu. Well, I don't know, <laughs> but let's find out. Lyle, 
we have the main man here, oh, yeah. Ferris. Ferris, we want to know a little more about Crafted Greens. It's new to the community, so tell everyone how this all came to be. This was my dream from day one, came to America to open a restaurant, uh, something organic, something that what I, what I appreciate, what I like to eat. And I, I started my career with Nordstrom's for 24 years as a head of operation for Nordstrom's. I was a head of uh, the kitchen chef for them. And 24 then, years. 24 years with Nordstrom's Inc. And my daughter and I, we always dreamed to open a restaurant together. And this is came all about, about maybe about three years ago, we came up with a concept, organic eatery, as much as fresh as local we could get uh, from the community to our restaurant. And it become a great hit and then the community just focus on a great, really great quality, great service and great value. That's beautiful. And El Cajon, how'd you choose El Cajon? Why here? You know, a lot of people discouraged me to really Glad open he did. This. Yeah. Glad, glad he did. <laughs> they discouraged me to open in El Cajon because they thought this is one not be the market for it. Uh -huh. I live in the community. I live two minutes away from Crafted Greens. Yeah. And I said, I need to start this in my community to give them a really good food that I appreciate and uh, they will appreciate hopefully if they try us. Well, this is where your family is, right? It's family business. Exactly. It's a family business. Uh, myself and my two daughters. One of them, uh, she comes in here every single day, Bianca, and she's in charge of the whole operation. Basically, she's in charge of the front of the house uh, and they leave the back of, back of the house to me. But they will take care of all the customers, making sure the customers they leave here satisfied and happy. Well, I have a very <laughs> happy, customer, a happy customer, right customer right here, part of the community, but I'd just like to know, Ferris, how do you get everybody to do things so well? I mean, your, your, your staff and everything is so inviting. I mean, I'm just a customer, you know, and I, I walk into places like this all the time. How do you get people to actually do what they do? Is it just because they it's love it? It's about the respect. Is the respect that we give them, the ownership that we give them. We teach them once, we leave them alone, let them do their, you know. I tell them one thing is customer's always right. That's my rules, my rule number one. Customer number two is the customer, if they're wrong, you always look at customer uh, rule number one. The customer is always right. They have to make sure the customer, they leave, that's it. They leave <laughs> here happy. And if not, we have to make it, we have to make it happen. Yeah. No matter what. It doesn't no. matter what they mm -hmm. say, how it is, we have to trust them and we have to care about it. It doesn't look like you have to do much with the setup you have going on here. It seems like you have something for everyone. You exactly. really got it all covered. Exactly. I'll tell you, the food is perfect here. Thank you. And I am so thankful to God every day that we have people like you that step out in the community and put together a restaurant like this thank you. that yeah. we can all come and enjoy. Well, I, I just couldn't have said it better, yes, thank and you. And I just want to appreciate the community and El Cajon that really gave us a great, a great welcome here in this community, so thank you. Beautiful, thank you, Ferris, Thanks. thank you, Lyle. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. I love thank it, you. making your dream come true. The thank American you so dream, much. yes. Absolutely, thank you. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day. Which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. MyFirstAM puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. Cost First can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing cost data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today. Little Italy, one of my absolute favorite places to visit. There's always new restaurants, bars, and lots of events happening. Today, my great friend Jesse Salas has promised us that the place he's taking us to is sure to treat him like a king and me like a queen. Today I brought you to one of the most modern Mexican restaurants and new to downtown, we're at King and Queen Cantina. 
Jorge is a restaurateur owner and uh, very passionate about food, has restaurants all over California, and I'm gonna let him take over here. Yeah. Right. Thank you for yeah. your visit. <laughs> Absolutely, very thank you for having you here. us. And how long has King & Queen's Cantina been in Little Italy? Little Italy for three months. Three we months? We barely opened, Brilliant. and we are very excited to be here in San Diego. We're happy to My have you. My first restaurant here in San Diego. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, even walking in the door, there's so many unique things from the decor, everything, but what would you say is your number one standout for this restaurant? the people, my employees. We have a great culture. We go above and beyond for our customers. You will not experience this level of service at any other restaurant. That's I guarantee fantastic. it. And it makes a difference. Yes, that's all, that's all we do. Take care of our customers, go the extra mile, and it's, it's been my secret ingredient for success, <laughs> customer service. It's hard to find it's good true. customer service. It is, it's very difficult. I, yeah. You know, one of the things I love, Little Italy, it's been known for some great cuisine, good coffee, but very Italian. Yes. And as mm -hmm. things have grown here in San Diego, so too has Little Italy. And we're getting some amazing stuff, a blend, right? A really diverse culture, not just Italian anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jorge's filling a gap here that I think has, has been needed. Um, not only do you have good customer service, great food, but some really good drinks as well. Right? And it's exactly what I noticed when I when I came here and they offered me this place, I was like, it needs something Mexican. Yeah. I walked the, the whole entire area and it's nothing. It's pretty much 90% of the restaurants Italian. Yeah. Wow. So it's a great need and it's a great fit for the community. Everybody's loving it. We have food from France, Spain, Japan, China, Korea. Wow and everything with a Latin Mexican twist. I love it. I love it's that. unique, very unique, over a hundred items on the menu. So Every that, single dish will blow you away. So now I, I love the, the dirty fries, yeah. right? <laughs> I, I, he I, talked about these dirty fries, so not, we're gonna have to see some of those. Not, <laughs> not probably, you know, the, the big uh, wow factor on the menu, but I love french fries. <laughs> and you throw a fried egg on it, you know, how can you go wrong? But Pico onion, chipotle sauce, oh. incredible. Speaking my language. Addicting, <laughs> you try one, you want more. But you have grills that you serve table side, right? Yeah, so tell do. us a little bit about that. We do four or five different grills and you cook it on your table. It's served with mesquite wood and fire. Incredible. Custom made grills, custom made churro cart, mini cart comes to your table, liquid nitrogen, ice wow. cream. Yeah. We're, we're very into molecular gastronomy without leaving the traditional cooking. I love that. The little, authentic flavors. A little bit yeah. of the old of, mixed with the new. A lot of creative exactly. cooking. Yes. And then, of Wait course, with food comes drinks, right? So We have some of the best mixologists <laughs> in San Diego. We have an incredible beverage program. Everything is made in-house. We change the menu every week. As we speak, I'm introducing five Vietnamese Latin plates. Wow. Wow. But those dirty fries aren't going anywhere, no, right? No. Okay, good. 70% <laughs> of the menu stays the same. Okay. And we just play with the 30% that this is low mover, or I'm not 100% satisfied. Okay. That's the ones we move. I, I love when you can go to a restaurant and get your favorites, right? Always know that what you love, what you fell in love with is still gonna be there, but also have the ability to try something new so it doesn't get stale, right? Yeah. Th that's exciting. This restaurant isn't your only baby, so no. you come from a restaurant line. You, where did your for, love for all this come from? I don't know, by accident. <laughs> that's I started, a great accident. No, I started as, uh, as a dishwasher by accident. Oh my god. When I came to this country, I didn't speak English, so dishes. Yeah. Clean bathrooms. You're the American and, dream. Yeah, You're right. just yeah. that type of person that, you know, lives with everyone. I fall in love with the industry. It's either you love it or you hate it. And I fall in love and it's been 26 years. Wow. And how many restaurants remind you? Six going on seven. About to open Valle de Guadalupe, Mexico, mm -hmm. the wine country. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be seven by April. So what would you say is your absolute favorite thing when you come to work and you're at King & Queens? What do you love about it? Relationships, customers, okay. friends. I have no friends. All my friends are my customers. That's I golf <laughs> with them. I travel with them. So every city that I open a restaurant end up with like 100 people, personal cell phone, text. It's we family. go out. Yeah. So that's what I love the most about what I do. Relationships, friendship, 
customers is like family for us. And it's a great vibe here because it's it very comfortable. Whether you're coming to you know have a full menu with family and friends here at the table, or maybe you're at the bar watching games, having a drink, it's just very comfortable. Right? Yeah. Very family mm -hmm. oriented, kind of like you mentioned. Well, you guys have an upstairs too, yes, which is incredible. Floor. Uh, we have two kitchens, two bars, working on a secret kitchen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so by next month, we're opening a second kitchen upstairs, mm -hmm. totally new menu. Wow. Nothing to do with King and Queen. So it's like having two restaurants in one. It keeps getting better and better. I mean, you guys are unique on so many levels. Thank you so much for no having us here in your beautiful restaurant, your home, making us part of the family. I know Jesse and I are going to get to try some yeah. of the food. Let's try some food. And let's drink. eat. Let's eat and drink. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Try. <laughs> let's do it. Oh my gosh, incredible. So this huge Tijuana grill plate, of course, they had to bring you your dirty, dirty fries. fries. Thank you, Jorge. Yes. Just yes. for you. Isn't this great though? I mean, oh. this is the level of service and quality of food that we were just talking about. After, you know, hearing Jorge talk, he just talks with such passion for, and it obviously comes out in his dishes. It's it comes through. And this is what I'm so excited about, and I'm glad you're here to be able to share yeah. what I love. Well, we got one more surprise. Uh-oh. I ordered you a table side old-fashioned. Oh, uh, you know me too well. And I don't think we've seen an old-fashioned make quite like this. How impressive, too, right? Coming here, something like yeah, this. Yeah, it's not just, a, you know, you just don't come here and eat. It's like a complete... It's an experience. Experience, yeah. absolutely. So I'm pretty sure, I think I need to live down here if I can't live in this restaurant and wake up every day to this food, but I need to live down here. It's funny you say that, because that's a real possibility. Is um, it? It is. We have a great new listing just around the corner. It's right off of 5th Street. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 1,500 square foot place. Close here, close to Balboa Park. It has a two car garage, which is really tough to find when you're downtown here, and two peekaboo views of the bay. So. It's a possibility. Oh my god! But gosh. you better act fast. <laughs> I know someone else is going to get it before I do, right? right? But but on a different note, uh, King Queens Jorge has been awesome enough for our lifestyle has, viewers. Yes. I mean, he's treated us great, and he wants to treat our viewers great too. So special promotion: if any of the customers come in and mention Harcourts, he's going to offer them a free appetizer or a margarita for one penny. Oh my gosh, margarita wow. for a penny? I'm in. Yeah, I'm yeah. in. I'll be here. I'll be here tonight. <laughs> well, if you thought Jorge couldn't get any better, he actually makes his own. Tequila wow. as well. It's called Dame Mas, so give me more, right? Let's do it. Let's do so it. So here we don't shoot the tequila, we sip it. Absolutely. So a sip to Harcourts. Thank you. And a sip to King and Queen's Cantina. Yes. And of course Jorge for having us. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, King and Queen's. Cheers. All right, that's all for Lifestyle, celebrating America's finest city. Thank you so much for tuning in with us every weekend. And don't forget, you can engage in the conversation as well. Would love for you to follow us on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're active on all of it, celebrating the greatest city in the greatest country on the planet. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.